Hello, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Jean-François Doucin, and this is my pleasure today to open this uh, special EAC session on the simulation chamber contribution to the aerosol research. And today I will uh, present you the EHM 2020 uh, EU-funded project um, and uh, infrastructure and what it brings to uh, the community for uh, aerosol research. As you know, the simulation chamber approach is uh, laying somewhere between the tabletop small-scale laboratory experiment and the field and observation uh, campaign. Uh, as on the one hand, we're aiming at the similar or comparable uh, realist, realism as the uh, real atmosphere uh, experiment but we are also uh, implementing the reproducibility and uh, uh, experimental condition control uh, that are uh, uh, used in the laboratory experiment. And this uh, uh, approach has led in the uh, past to a major breakthrough in our understanding of the atmospheric transformation mechanism, for uh, instance, as uh, identifying the autogomerization process or the formation of organosulfates or, or the leading to a better understanding of uh, um, uh, particle formation event or in uh, also understanding the formation of uh, organic tracers that are now very useful uh, for the uh, source apportionment from the uh, field measurement. At the same time, uh, the work in simulation cham chamber is often uh, uh, standing uh, behind the parameterization that are used in both uh, operational and research grade uh, models. So for all this reason, the European Commission has decided in 2016 to reactivate the Eurocham community uh, through the funding of the Eurocham the Eurocham 2020 initiative. It is a very uh, big project involving 19 uh, partners from all across uh, Europe, but also in, uh, involving a lot of associated uh, partners, uh, both coming from uh, the academic and the private sector uh, world. Uh, and by the way, I would like to advertise the open call for associated partnership. And if you are interested, uh, you are very welcome uh, to join our initiative as associated uh, partners. Uh, so the, the Eurochamp uh, uh, 2020 initiative is aiming at uh, uh, enhancing the use of simulation chamber. First, by conducting methodological research to widen the scope of simulation chamber and uh, to uh, keep the use of simulation chamber in line with the emerging uh, scientific uh, topic. In the same time, we are working on a more efficient transfer to model uh, by uh, building protocols and tools uh, for more efficient transfer from our data uh, towards uh, the, the model. Uh, we're also working a lot on making our chamber output more robust, more traceable uh, by providing uh, the metadata that will later um, uh, open the reanalysis and the, re the reuse of our data by a, a wider scientific uh, community. And also we are working on op opening widely our facility uh, to uh, external user. So the Eurocham project, as you can see, is a 9 million euro project, but half of this, uh, half of this money is dedicated to the transnational access program that is aiming at opening our facility to external users. Uh, for uh, making more robust the simulation chamber output, we are conducting a huge set of networking activity that is aiming at uh, enhancing the characterization of the simulation chamber in order to reach a better interoperability of the chamber, which means uh, to be able to extract from the chamber data uh, the knowledge, the atmospherically relevant knowledge, and so uh, this implies to have a very good uh, understanding of the chamber dependent uh, uh, processes uh, and we are working on this not only in uh, uh, understanding these processes but also in storing them together with uh, the data. Uh, eventually we are conducting multi-chamber uh, experiment meaning that we are doing the same experiment in similar chamber uh, so that we can test this interoperability.
We are, we are also working on a lot in defining a standard protocol, in uh, uh, defining best practice, practices in, in simulation chamber operation. And uh, I'm glad to announce that very soon we'll be launched a physical book that will gather all these best practices, all this recipe into a handbook of uh, atmospheric simulation chamber operation. We're also disseminating tools among the consortium, but also uh, towards the wider community uh, for better uh, data uh, analysis uh, of the, the simulation uh, chamber data. As you know, simulation chamber are also a very powerful tool to perform intercomparison and in order to reach a higher level of quality insurance and a higher quality of data, we are conducting intercomparison campaign. Uh, and as an example, I can cite the intercomparison of measurement of small oxygenated organics or the intercomparison of the various techniques for uh, ice nuclide measurement or the PTMRMS operating uh, condition. As I said, the, the project is also aiming at, at widening uh, the, the scope of simulation chamber approach to address broader uh, scientific and societal needs. And so we have put a special emphasis on climate change and uh, um, working in, uh, uh, for better characterization of the, of the, the various change driver uh, by direct effect and indirect effect of uh, aerosol on, on climate, but we're also working on the, the, the impact on of the, the air quality on health and on the preservation of the cultural heritage, but also on working on system of an increasing realism. Uh, as you know, chamber, simulation chamber was in the past uh, very uh, oriented on the, the understanding the fate of a single uh, pollutant or single precursor or very simple system. Now we're working on system much more complex, like injecting uh, 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 full car emission or uh, injecting a uh, plant emission or a uh, fireplace emission uh, in order to study uh, the uh, uh, atmospheric uh, aging of the, the, the related uh, aerosol. We're also working in, uh, work, uh, in uh, improving our understanding of uh, radical chemistry uh, in the atmosphere. Uh, in parallel to this, uh, to this uh, experimental work, we're working on uh, the model development uh, on, on following both track. On the one end, we're working on uh, developing model approach for better analysis of the simulation chamber uh, uh, data. Uh, uh, and on the other end, we are working in developing parameterization tools and instrument in order to have a more direct uh, um, uh, transfer of the simulation chamber data uh, toward uh, the models. One of the key uh, of our uh, project is uh, the access to the community to our chamber and we have a, a, a huge uh, TNA program that is aiming at the uh, providing the physical access to the chamber. Uh, we have more than uh, uh, 1,400 days of experiment that are open to this and so external groups can decide what kind of chamber is the most suitable uh, to address their scientific question. They can apply through a very simple forms with a very high level of uh, success rate and if they are successful they receive funding to cover travel and living expenses and to come physically at our facility while in the same time the host will receive some money from the project to carry their own uh, their, the, the visitors uh, experiment. Uh, we have another project of transnational access that is transnational physical access to uh, um, calibration facility. More than 400 days of experiment are open to TNAs and we have four uh, calibration center. One is uh, for cloud physics, another one is providing training and uh, laboratory comparison on the art of the analysis of organic tracer and aerosol constituent. Uh, another one is on the um, center for aerosol physics when you can have your uh, uh, people and uh, train at the, the, the usage of uh, CPCs or SMPSs or uh, uh, physical uh, aerosol instrumentation. And last but not least, we have opened a calibration center for suit measurement at PSI. Another work is uh, dedicated to uh, the virtual access to the simulation chamber data. Uh, we have more than uh, 1,200 uh, entries, and so which means full experiment, fully, uh, um, uh, fully uh, um, 
documented with metadata and all the relevant information so that external user can freely access to this data and reanalyze them for their own use. Uh, whether another pillar is the library of analytical re uh, resources where hundreds of FTIR and mass spectrometry spectra are shared and uh, 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 freely downloadable. And the last pillar uh, that is a new pillar that has been launched uh, uh, is about the library of advanced data product where we distribute high level product uh, for observation modeling, modeling or radiative transfer calculations such as um, complex refractive index of various type of aerosol, uh, rate constant of uh, chemical processes, we distribute uh, basic parameters such as vapor pressure and Henry's low constant, but also model and many other freely downloadable resources such as script and uh, uh, free wares. Finally, the UHM 2020 uh, is a um, the Yotem 2020 is also working as preparing the future. The project will end in one year from now, so you still have one year to use all these uh, services that we provide to the community. But after this, we are working in merging together with the Actress community in order to found the Actress European Research uh, Infrastructure Consortium to continue this uh, process is for the next decade. And so the, the, the goal is to continue to offer physical access to our facility and virtual access to our data, not only for a few more years, but uh, for the next decades, uh, as we're aiming at building a sustainable uh, uh, infrastructure. As I said, the Eurochamp project is still going on for the next one year. Uh, we still have some days available for access and our uh, data center is improving every day. So please come visit us and use it. And with this, uh, thank you very much for your attention. This